Hello everyone and welcome to Rhino Feed. Today I'm going to review the SteelSeries Rival, which is their new optical mouse designed for right-handed gamers. So let's start off with a quick overview of the mouse. So you'll see your left click, your right click, your scroll wheel, which has a middle click, your toggle CPI button. On the left side you'll see your forward button and your back button, along with their rubber grips. On the very bottom you'll see your slippy pads and your optical sensor. On the back you'll see their nameplate and on the front you'll see the cable. So back to the top of the mouse you'll find that they've used a soft matte finish with an anti-sweat coating to try to deter any fingerprints from living there. And this is very comfortable finish, it's not tacky or greasy, but it still doesn't look the best uh, even after the anti-sweat coating that they've added because near the fingertips on your left and right clicks you'll see a difference in color in the rubber just from use. On the left and right sides you'll also find rubber grips, but I'll still prefer a sandy texture like on the Logitech G700S or Corsair M60. In my opinion they give a cheap feel to the mouse. Speaking of the grip, this mouse was designed for right-handed folks only. Personally I use a fingertip grip, but I find myself shifting into a sort of half palm grip with this mouse because of the way the right side is shaped. My pinky and ring fingers have to curl a little bit more inwards than I'd like for the grip that I want. Overall the weight of the mouse seems good, although you can't customize it to your liking. It feels plasticky compared to the metal chassis that the Corsair M60 has, but if you like a lighter mouse you might like this actually better. The placement of the forward and back buttons is good for my long fingers, but if you have a smaller hand you'll just have to try it out, as it may be too far forward for you. The switches are proprietary SteelSeries switches, and at first they were squeaky, but after a couple hours they actually broke in pretty well, and I really like the responsiveness and sound. A quick note, the rubber cable is not braided sadly. It seems like they're just trying to save some money for the excellent optical sensor that they've used, which is a PixArt PMW3310. It boasts a 1 to 1 tracking ratio, and it doesn't feel like the tracking is behind you like in laser mice, but right with you, especially after you adjust it to your liking. You can adjust it from 50 to 6500 CPI with increments of 50. One downfall of optical mice though is they don't work as well on surfaces other than a mouse mat, so therefore I'm using a Razer Kabuto. Moving on to software, the SteelSeries Engine 3 software has excellent customizability from changing the CPI for your toggle switch to the polling rate, the acceleration, deceleration, and angle snapping. It also has a built-in macro editor and recorder so you can change every single button what it's going to be doing. Also, one of the major pluses that I find is it has configurations that you can change based on the software that you're using. So in my instance, I'm using Premiere and it sets a custom configuration so that my forward and back buttons are zoom and my middle click on my scroll wheel is play pause in Premiere. So it works out really well for me. The only thing I miss is the sniper button on the Corsair M60 that I've used previously. That would change the CPI on the fly so I didn't have to press a toggle button every time. This would work out really well for video editing for very precise movements. Aside from all that, the software also allows you to change the colors of the LEDs independently. So you have two, one on the scroll wheel, one on the palm area of the mouse, and you can literally change them from any color under the sun. There's also three effects that you can choose from, steady, Breathe, which you can change the speed of the breathing to slow or faster. And there's also color shift, which you can't change the color, so there's just four options for that. So there you have it. For a quick summary of the review, I really love this mouse, except for maybe the slight, cheap, plasticky feel to it, the missing sniper button, which I really did use a lot, and the software, which loads a little bit slowly initially. There is, on the plus side, however, many, many software customizations you can make. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Definitely please rate, comment, and subscribe.